Hi, I have some new things from the flea market that I want to show you today. The first thing is this Nokia phone. The model is N95. This phone is from 2006-2007 and back then it was something really special. It has so many features, it has almost all the things that modern smartphones have. Here it has a selfie camera, the quality is terrible, but it is one of the first phones to have a selfie camera. At the back side of the phone you will find another more bigger camera. This camera was huge compared to the phone cameras we had back then. The phone is a swider, so you can swide it up to reveal the K-pot. But if you swide it down, it opens multimedia keys that turn your phone into a music player. There is also a special button to take a picture with the camera, just like the real cameras. This phone is very camera-like. On the sides are two speakers and a headphone jack. This is infrared to communicate with other devices. Battery charging is dual. Uh, I mean, you can use a Nokia charger or you can charge by using this USB port. There is a SD card slot here. I taped the cover so I don't lose it. This Nokia is in very bad shape. Uh, but even in bad condition, this model has some value. Unfortunately, there is no battery, uh, but I put an external power supply and I tested it and it works. So in the future, I will do more detailed review of this phone and then I will put it for sale. It's in poor condition and I don't want to keep it in my collection. The next thing is this camera. Canon Ixus 160. It's a cool little camera. It's an old model, but it's okay. I mean, you can make not so bad photos with this camera. This one works, it has a battery, uh, but it has a problem with the focus. So I will try to sell it for parts. In previous videos I've shown you this Canon. It's almost the same camera, they are so similar. I'm using this camera with external power to shoot some videos. I think the Ixus 155 is a little better. It has a little bigger zoom. The software is also almost the same. I will try to sell it for parts because I don't have enough time to fix it. The next thing is a red camera again. This camera is much more modern and high-end than the previous one. And I bought it very cheaply, about six dollars. It's a bit bigger than the typical pocket camera, but still it fits in a pocket. I can say that it's in very good condition, works perfectly. It has a battery, it has memory card, it has Wi-Fi, GPS and this lens it makes 
really big zoom, huge zoom. It can shoot video in full HD. I took some pictures with this camera and I have some impressions, but I will share them in a whole video dedicated to this camera model. I both like it and I don't like it. I'm not sure what exactly to do with this camera, to keep it or to sell it. Typically I collect old cameras and this one is newer and it's not interesting for my collection uh, but at the same time maybe I can use it to shoot some videos. The next flea market find is a toy. These figurines were a snack gift in the late 90s. There was a whole collection of them and now their price is gradually increasing. In Bulgaria these figurines were called robbers. Because of the English letters here, I think they were not only for Bulgaria. Tell me in the comments if there were such toys in your country and what they were called in your country. It cost me only 50 cents and I guess I will sell it for about 4 or 5 dollars. If I had found the whole collection I would have made quite a profit. The next things are two cameras that directly go into my collection. These are interesting cameras for me. The interesting thing about these cameras is that they are digital but they don't have a display, which I think is a cool experience to shoot without knowing what the result is. This is the exact model of one of the cameras. It has a transparent case and you can see the circuit boards inside. The battery cover is broken. I read on the internet about this camera and it turns out that this cover breaks every time. It has a full size USB port and I'm seeing for the first time full size USB port on a camera. The other camera is a TCM, actually this is the exact model. I like this one more. It uses two AA batteries. This camera uses very little power because these batteries actually are dead. No other camera wants to turn on with them but this one works with them, it even shows that the batteries are full. The camera uses a very rare memory card. I don't have one of these cards yet. The camera has a built-in memory, so you can make a few pictures without a memory card. The interesting thing about this built-in memory is that it's not flash memory, it's a RAM memory. When the batteries are removed, the pictures are deleted. There is one big problem with these two cameras and that is that I don't have drivers for them. 
there are no drivers on the internet either. So I can't connect them to a computer. I can't download the pictures from them. And the next thing is a camera again. This is Olympus. The battery was broken and I put in a cable to power it. There is a problem with the lens. It doesn't unfold as it should. I will keep this camera and I will try to repair it someday. The next thing is a really good deal. It's a brand new drawing tablet. It's an old model, but it was in the original packaging. I don't know if I said this before, but I am a creative person. I have several other channels dedicated to art projects and geometric drawings. So this tablet will be really useful for me to draw sketches of my future projects. It cost me only two dollars, which is really good price. This is a keyboard from a Bulgarian computer Pravets 16. This is a rare keyboard. During the time of the Soviet Union, Bulgaria produced a huge part of the computers for the countries of the Union. Now, many of these computers have collector value. The arrangement of the keys is interesting. The F keys are on the left. Unfortunately, one key is broken. But the seller had kept all the parts of the key, so it could be repaired. By the way, I am selling this keyboard on British eBay. If anyone wants to take a look, I will leave a link in the description. In general, I only sell the expensive things abroad. Because the courier services are not cheap and there is no point in selling the cheap things. Most of the things uh, that I say in my videos uh, that I will sell I'm selling them here in Bulgaria. The next thing is Kingdom Melodies. These are audio cassettes with some religious melodies. I'm not a fan of the religious stuff, but I like the quality and the way the collection is made. I played some of the tapes and the quality is pretty good. But I don't have interest in religious melodies, so I will sell them. Audio thing again. It's a Walkman. I haven't heard of this brand before and maybe it's not that valuable, but at least it's in its original box and it has original headphones inside. It has not been used, it's perfectly preserved and clean. I tested it and there is only one problem. The drive belts are loose and it does not turn the tape. Otherwise everything else is in working order. This is an expected problem. In all old electronics with 
builds we can expect um, some problems with loose builds if you've seen my previous video you know I'm looking for a vintage laptop that has a lot of inputs and outputs this laptop is very old but at the same time it feels like a much more modern laptop I would say this laptop feels more like a ThinkPad than the actual ThinkPads when you hold it in your hands it feels solid but not huge and not heavy the laptop works but the original hard drive was broken on front there are headphone and microphone connectors on the side a spot for expansion cards CD-ROM internet port infrared port I really need this infrared serial port VGA here is a strange port I don't know what is it parallel port which is also important to me unfortunately there is only one USB it has a mouse and keyboard port and on the other side there is a TV connector nice laptop but not perfect its big drawback is that its BIOS doesn't support booting from USB also the CD-ROM doesn't read all the disks that I put inside which made it very difficult for me to install some operating system another problem is that it's very difficult to find the right drivers for this laptop I put a lot of time trying and finally it runs on Windows 98 but I have to do some more digging to find the correct drivers I will definitely keep this laptop for my collection that was the video for today thank you very much for watching if you want to support this channel you can do it in Patreon, I will put link in the description also I will put more links to uh, my other channels and to eBay store, to my eBay store thank you very much for watching and goodbye